What is going on, everyone? How hope you all are having a good day today. Today it is WZ versus AV. My name is Vinny, and I'm joined by my part casting partner, Zesty. Yo, what's going on, guys? We have an interesting match, to say the least. Uh, two of the the heavyweights back in the day playing in D2. Very interesting, but I don't know. This is going to be a really fun match. It's a match that I think most people never expected to see ever again in the history of Mario Kart Wii. And we're here. GSC Season 3, WZ, AV, and D2. We can swiftly move along to the lineups. Starting off with Wallywogs. This is definitely not the Wallywogs lineup that they've had throughout the years with players like Quinn. I know Killua can't play anymore. You have players even like Crash and so many players have gone down the line. Even Larry, who's on this team, is not playing today. Their uh, main guy is TK, as most people expected, but he's joined by Spec, Hawk, Irik, and Camelot bagging, which is... Very interesting. I think most people know about him bagging this season, but it's it's still surprising. This guy has D1 experience running with Apocalypse Emerald, and he's bagging up this season, which is very interesting. 100%. Yeah, we don't see Camelot bag a lot. Usually he is a runner. He used to be a main runner in AP, a long-time AP member, but I have seen him bag before, and he actually is a good bagger. Like, I, in scrims, he seem to do really well he used to host back from first a couple of times don't overlook him 100 as a bagger he can definitely compete with joris 100 and like you said zesty it is kind of an, an interesting wz line if they're missing also like some of the cat casperinos as well who used to be a main main staple in wz lineup back in mkps as well i'm pretty sure he has a broken disc so he's unable to play uh don't know if he will play again but yeah some new guys, including Spec and uh, Eric, but yeah, TK I assume will be leading the way for them. Yeah, it's it's weird because Casperinos broke his disc. This was supposed to be a team that had D1 aspirations, and then I I don't know what happened. I heard he broke his disc. I I don't know if that's actually true, but he is Casperinos. Casperinos is signed up, but he's playing for Heaven, so I'm assuming he's not gonna really play there. But if they need him, last. Last yeah. second, he'll he'll be there. But another interesting player here, other than TK, is Hawk. Because I know I've played, I've played in three different fantasy drafts. I don't know if anyone took Hawk because nobody knew that he's going to play this season. And he's yeah. here, and now this team looks so much more scarier than everyone in D2. And everyone in the league kind of expected. You were expecting players like Iris, Irik. Those sort of lineups, similar to Meteor, in I think season one, and that team did not do so well other than TK, who had a really nice season. But Hawks here, Spec, another player, who I think most people would have considered D1 back in his heyday, playing with Demoralize in I think maybe MKPS, maybe late seasons of Wimpy League, but. He's played with Casperinos. He's played with so many good players throughout the years. We're going to be watching his perspective alongside Olifrey from the other team. Super interesting uh, to see how he does because I, I don't remember last time he's played in a war. So it's going to be Maybe super either. interesting. It'll be interesting to see if, yeah, if the rust will be there, if he has any rust to shake off. Like you mentioned with Hawk. Like, I think most people know him from, like, back in the days with Ethereal and MKPS, one of their main runners. You could make the argument, technically, that WZ could be, could have been in D1 this season, but they're placed in D2. I 100% they'll think they'll be very for formidable. It'll, see, it'll be interesting to see how Iric does as well, if he'll be kind of the pack player, kind of the slagger to give guys like maybe TK or Hawk a breakaway in the top spots. I know, like, he was really, played a lot with Nightfall, I think Meteor... In season one of yep. GSC as well. Yeah, it's a interesting team dynamic, different to every anything we've seen with Meteor, because they have two or three players you can consider carries instead of one in TK. But we should move on to Avail. I think there are eight players in room, so yep. we'll go on to Avail. Zoan, Bon, Oliferi, Knight, and Yoris as the bagger. The same lineup that I think. I need to confirm this, but I'm pretty sure they lost to LZ just right before this match, and 
I'm interested to know your thoughts on how that will affect them. Does that have any effect on you playing back-to-back -back matches and having lost the first match? I think it can, 100%. Like, you know, like, if you win the match, like, just coming off win, like, you have all the momentum in the world, you feel amazing. But if you're coming off a loss, it can definitely wear on, on the mentality of the team. And since they are, I believe, using the exact same lineup as they did against LZ, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if they do, if that does have an effect mentally, if they're, they're kind of, like, mentally drained, if they're, like, we just lost, like, and then we're going up against, like, WZ, like, is, is it going to be, like, deja vu all over again? So I think it, it can take a toll, and they're, they might not be as confident as maybe they were if they weren't, weren't coming off a loss immediately before. So it'll be interesting to see if they do bounce back or if, or if they get off to a slow start this match. Yeah, for sure. And one thing just about the Zavale team, it's pretty different. You have Ball and Olifrey who are mainstays in the Vale, but no Kevin this season, no Lucid, no Paul. All the Germans, I think, have left the clan. And now you have some French players join the clan, like Knight, like Thomas from France, and Zoan. And we're going to see a lot of Zoan this season, I think. I don't know if any player really can fill the shoes that Kevin that Kevin left. So, I mean, the combination of Zoan and Knight is interesting. Knight's a player pretty underrated because he doesn't play but the last time i did see him play might have been in a d3 semi-finals against lv or something like that when i know mio zoan and knight play on the same team and knight popped off i remember that i was casting that one but yeah it's gonna be interesting to see i think the room is just getting started and one thing i've noticed i played with iris a lot i recognize his me in the waiting screen, so someone from that Wallybox lineup has subbed out, and just based on the memes, I think Hawk, who I thought was gonna play this match, I don't think he's here. Oh. So I think I saw Iric, TK Spec, and uh, Iric, TK Spec, and I forgot the last guy. I don't know who they subbed. Iris, in Iris, yeah. Iris, okay. So, so Iris instead Iris. of Hawk is a. It's a pretty substantial downgrade here. 100%. Um, yeah. Iris definitely has played more, but I think y you'll take a, ho a rusty hawk over Iris any day. There's no no flame in it. There's just hawk is a superb player. He was a key runner in Ethereal, one of the best teams we've ever seen in this game. So, like, don't don't take a rusty hawk as someone who's just extra player. But 100%. We're getting underway. Do we have? Do you have a final prediction on the the score here? I think I think WZ will win this match. I think it'll be fairly close. I'm gonna say WZ will win by 30 points. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad bad prediction whatsoever. And I think something I wanted to mention before we got into the match was there's some kind of pseudoscience in basketball saying like the team that's the best player will usually win the series, but I don't see that happen a lot in Mario Kart Wii. So despite, I think, TK unanimously being the best player in this match, I don't know if it's going to take his team to victory as we saw season one of Meteor, but early, early seconds of RBC here, not much to know a lot. A lot of people getting taken out, but Specs chilling in fifth for now. Yeah, we see Zone running it up in first place right now with and uh, and we see Spec over here trying to get trying to get slagged by Knight, but he gets away from his in fourth place right now. Oli Frey in second. So W is like this is gonna him. suck for TK. TK had his trail oh. taken out by one of the baggers, and now he's gonna get he hit by that. Oh, that's that is really bad. bad. I don't know if it's a troll, but, but it it has huge effect on the race. So on taking over first after Oli Frey having a little miss input there. Not something you're gonna see a lot. So might yeah, be the only one. You rarely see Oli Frey making those kinds of mistakes. Usually a very, very strong runner. Rarely, if not ever, makes mistakes. If he gets into first, it is extremely hard to get him out of there. But, yeah. it looks like... Ooh, looks like that fib. That fib was dirty. Zone top first three, play. though. Yeah, AV is top everything right now, occupying all the top spots. So we'll see if they can if they can keep it running it up. I'm not really sure. It looks like both the baggers haven't gotten back past yeah, the Yeah, so no second shock line. yet. We'll yeah, see. I don't think we're going to be able to see who's going to respawn first. TK up here. I think this is going to be a common theme in this war. TK being the only frontal presence. That random green is actually going to hit? 
It hit TK. Oh, wow. It actually got... Wow. That is unfortunate for WZ. TK, like you said, was the only one up there for them. Now AV is all the way back in top spots. Top spots again. You and see you can TK see so there. many people spinning in the mid-pack. This yeah. track is super snowball-y because you just get into first and you can just keep backspamming. So on has exactly. nothing. He, he just has to backspam. The only thing is if he has a green in first, you probably don't risk anything. Don't I risk would. a late green or anything. So... Looks like he might have Shroomin first, because we did see him overtake Olifrey, lap 1, so maybe that's why he's not backing, but this this top 2 is so far gone. We could switch the spec yeah. to see what's he, what he's doing on the back, but it's, it's you know, yeah. <laughs> the TC in 7th. Well, shot comes in, I'm not it's sure. It's a target shock. Someone gets target shock. That shock's gonna do nothing. Ooh. Yeah, that, I don't think that's gonna do anything. They tried to TS Olifrey, I think? They didn't get yeah. him. I mean, they missed. So I don't. Yeah, that shock really ain't gonna do. Not gonna change much. I think Ballin's that just, either. just because of how that was used, I think Ballin might have called it because he fell off and then he oh. cut past the TC anyways. Because well, there's no way Wally Walks are calling that because no, none of them dodge. No, if, right. if they had a dodge, then maybe it would have been worth the TS. I think it was just bad timing. Maybe Oliver gets the 15 instead of Zoan, but that's it. That's literally all that yeah. shock did really nothing matter like av still got top two maybe top three i didn't really see what the mid pack situation was there at the end but yeah that shot really didn't move the needle at all exactly so top, AV, two, five, top two six. five six oh ballin yeah. actually beats specter i didn't i didn't catch that but Me yeah the shock uh, it's just good that yoris got it i'm just gonna assume that was a a yoris shock because if wallywogs had it i think they would have used it better or maybe it was just a last desperation sort of shock just let's see maybe hope you hope that he misses the drop down boost but top two five six av taking the lead early in this match and remember every race matters a little bit more than just in a normal best of threes sort of thing because gse points are up for grabs and personally i i know the feeling of losing out on playoffs because of one one gp win we're one gp went away so we'll see we'll see what happens like getting 10 out here if you can take two points week one in your first match you'll you'll take it you'll take any points especially in this division where you don't really know who's the worst team in my opinion right yeah d2 is so tight like you need every gse point you can get you if you can salvage two Maybe four points, like you will take. Like you do not want to get ten would week one and then fall in an early hole because it is tough to climb out of it. Very yeah. tough. Yeah, and the thing, if you get a six four victory, it doesn't even feel like a victory. And if you get right. six four as the team that gets four points, it doesn't even feel that bad of a loss. So exactly, it feels like kind of you tied that match in a sense. Maybe. Yeah, for uh, honestly, because you only lost a war by two points, despite potentially winning the war by a lot of points. Hundred percent. But I think we should switch the spec here. Spec has a shroom in third. Let's see what Olifrey can do. I think Olifrey just pulled a fib, but he's not gonna be able to backspam because of a nice draft from Spec. Free I rock up, and Made that's it. a good make. Box in second. Ooh, red shell. That was shroom. That would have been a jackpot. But Olifrey he's running it up in first. He's gonna be insane. So Spec has a break in first. After yeah, Olifrey we can switch back to Olifrey here, since Spec is just gonna be running this one up. He backs the red. We saw Spec. Back of red, looks like does not hit. 2 3 4 for AV. Oliver not going for that box. I feel like you need every box possible to get shrooms, but he's not he's not gonna go for it. Trying to keep 2 3 4 5 here. And AV's Iris, yeah, run. no no counterplay to that. Yeah. Oh nice. Nice double back. back there. Really ooh. Only for gets triple shroom is gonna be taking rock here with Ballin. Oh, oh he missed no, it again. that should have been so much better. That was t that yeah. was two, three, four, five for a veil taking rock. That Only Zoan and Knight making it. We can switch back to spec. He's in a one v two here, but he has the best item. He has shroom in third. I'm Unless... not sure if there's a. Do you think shocks in play right now, or do you think? I think no both better. baggers have made it all the way back. They're at the first. They're at the finish line, I think. Blue coming in, it's not gonna matter because Knight and Zoan both have shrooms. Yep. Spec had the best item, but top two had better items. 
and Outcomes it's gonna in. be top two. Ooh. Unless yep. he target pal. Eight. Knight died. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's gonna be, still gonna be top two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That almost gonna work. That almost killed Knight. Yeah, that spec almost snagged second there, but they still got wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, that sh could have been better. We saw Ollie for at triple shrooms, right? So he could have been up there. He could have got fourth there for sure. Because there's no back spam from spec because he had to hold his shroom. That It could have been better. It, it should have been better. Ballin, Ballin kind of messed up Ollie for it by going for stop rock. And then they yeah. both failed it, so. Oh, he beats him. Ooh, oh, he got uh... second. Oh. I did not think he beat him there. I don't um, think he. I don't think he did, to be honest. But will could we potentially see a lag correction coming in? Maybe, possibly. I mean, they have the POV. If, yeah, if I'm looking at the D2 correction. chat. Bowen says potential pen on RBC, and he also said oh. spec lagged the spot. I'm assuming oh. he's talking about this race. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. 100. percent Yeah, we saw it. Yeah, it it looked like Knight got second there, so. We could very well see a lag. Could very well see a lag correction coming in there. It's Which funny though, because I've, I've had that happen so many times. I think there's like specific players in this game that lag way more than others, especially in lounge. I think me and Prin get like 0.5 lag starts all the time, and because I sometimes stream, I just stream myself lagging other people, and it's like, well, let's we'll just hope they don't rewatch the vod. But exactly. expect streaming in front of. 90 like 100 people i mean that's definitely gonna get corrected yeah there's no way you're gonna miss it with but tk is saying that he beat him on the on the command the slash rr so oh. i don't know if if there's no lag on the the command then i don't know if it's correctable i don't think it is i mean maybe you could check mkwx or the wm file website but that's probably about all I, that's probably about it like i i don't think it it's probably not gonna stand then yeah MC3, uh, I don't know. This one's a weird track. What What are your thoughts on MC3? Do you like this one? I like this if you're typically like one or two and then bottom three because you, because this track is runnable if there are no blues and if your team maybe can get blue and hold it, it can be runnable. But also you have your you have guys getting dodges in the back. And, and did we just saw Spec get double teamed there? The green snipe and the TC yeah. pass. It's top two breaks. So on on thirty already making. Making huge plays, plays I would not expect Me neither, from Zoan to be honest. Like you'd expect all your frame Bond to be the guys to make the big plays, but Zoan showing us why he is a D2 player because I don't think he has played D2. I think he played with Gun last season, who weren't D2. Maybe they were. I, I don't remember where he played actually, but Gun he's doing was big, D2 big last. damage. I think he played in Gun last, so I think he does have D2 experience. But I mean, man, he's playing like a D1 player right now with all these plays he's making. Look at this break. You just don't see this type of break on insane. on MC3. Like, I think Ollie Free Golden, but Zoan just ran because he, he was just, first. Yeah, exactly. That he target just, power yeah. doing nothing. This one looks over. This one's already a guaranteed that. win for AEV unless, again, like that target power night last time. But this time, there's just nothing to stop them. Ollie Frey is not gonna give Zoan a chance to 60 though. I just saw that in the minimap. I think Ollie Frey uh, took first for himself there. I think so too, yeah. Kind of unfortunate, but you really don't care about Indids League Matt. You just want to make sure your team gets the winning races. You just want to make sure you secure, secure it. And AV, they just ran it up in top two the whole race. No blues, no shock until the end. Yeah, I, mean, I think just... maybe yours held. He could, oh yeah. Very it's well. one of those races where you you think maybe AV were holding blue in a bottom spot because just nothing happened. Nothing happened to them. Exactly. It's very rare for there not to be a blue on MC3. So they very well could have. Maybe Ballin was holding blue or Knight. We really don't. We really don't know. So on not getting a chance to 60. Unfortunate, but I don't think he cares too much. 42 after 3 against Wallywogs. Something. That's, that's quite something, but... Again, he probably doesn't care. He just wants this GSC point, and they're they're super close to clinching it. I think, I think if they get first, they clinch the GSC point just because of how I don't think two, three, four, five, nine is enough. So it's, we'll see. Yeah, it wouldn't be. I believe if they do get, yeah, if they do get first, second, I believe they do clinch the GSC point, and and 
have an early like Tunic and lead after one GP. I mean, they they've commanded it. They've commanded the GP so far. I mean, they've suffocated WZ, making sure they can't get into top spots and and um, yeah, and really not making any any mistakes as well. This is a plus twenty nine for AV. So this already you're in a situation where you need to top four, top four, uh, top four nine to win the GP. You have no other choice. That's right. So and it's, it's, Ball and said he might have a pen, so maybe this GP is already over. It could be, yeah. In it terms could very of, well be over. yeah, it's just not looking good for WZ to win this GP at least. Not, not, not necessarily for the war. Like there's still a lot of war left, but as for the GP, it's looking like wraps for AV to win this GP one. Mario, yeah, but they get, they get Mario Circuit, and this, this is not a track you see in wars at all. But yeah. they're already in a, in a, a spot of desperation here. Yeah, they kind of Mario need, Circuit. They need some unorthodox like track picks. I guess I guess you could say like they're 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 not saying die yet, but they they do need to go to like, some extreme measures to try to win this GP. Well, if and red, they, would... they get someone out of there. He's been the big threat in this match so far, but maybe I think yours is winning the bag battle, and he took the backwards cut, which means Camelot just spun out with Bill. So. A box in 10th for yours, he's gonna keep 10th unless he gets Bill. Even then, he might still be able to keep 10th, so... Not looking good right now for Wallywogs. You see Spec holding blue in 6, so that tells me that WZ is first right now. So, they do have yeah, some we can, we can switch back to Olifrey, who's goldening up here. He'll try and break in the first, and maybe we'll see this blue connect on him. But this is top 3. Top, top 3 is still not enough, but... I, I don't think they care about the GSC point at this point. They're just trying to get some momentum back into this match. Top three will do that, but a shock in the box is it has to be an AV shock. Ooh, I don't like the spam res because those oh, usually like break on each other. Yeah, I, I think he should have spaced those reds he, out. He didn't hit anyone, so. But a yeah. bomb, a bomb oh. from where? I don't know where that bomb came from. That was deadly though. That is gonna. That's gonna be detrimental. Holy Frey gets a golden. Is this gonna get him any spots? Ooh, wow, Zoan almost destroyed Spec with that last green, but Spec avoids it. It's a winning race. It should be a winning race though for Wallywogs with 1 3. So TK was able to run it up after maybe getting a golden first set, but mm -hmm. uh, it's something. It's a, it's a winning race on an unorthodox track without shock. So a lot of positives to take from that race if you're a Wallywogs fan. Or a Wallywox player, 100%. Like you need any kind of momentum you get at this point. You need, you, you just need a winning race. Like I know you didn't win the GP, one, three, four actually. So that is yeah, a good, good race. race. Like, I, not, I, it could have been better. You saw that bomb snipe out of I nowhere. It. Might have been Zoan's chain or no? Yeah. It had to be Knight's chain because Zoan, Zoan got second. I think he got trim. So Knight, yeah, making the best out of a bad item. Or it could have been Ballin. You never know. Ballin throws bombs from literally anywhere on the track and. With Ballin's precision and just his creativity with those sort of snipes, it maybe it was him. Who knows? Yeah, he makes incredibly niche plays. Like, if for all we know, yeah, it could have been his bomb. We really, we really don't know. But that was big to try to get to to get Irik a, a bomb spot since WZ was already most of the top spots. And Ooh, I've I just seen I've just seen something in the Division Two chat. So for those people who voted on Wallywalks to win this match, Iris is subbing out. And you already know who's coming in. We talked about him in the pre-match. Hawk is Ooh. subbing in. Big man Hawk coming in. That's a huge upgrade like I was talking about. And they've, they're yeah. only down 20. So Iris and the crew did enough. And now you get an, a really, really good player in Hawk to sub in. Only down 20. This, this, this no could be a over. momentum shifter in the match. By no means over. Yeah, it's, it's very close. And with Hawk coming in... You should see more funnel presence from WZ along to help TK up in the top spots to try to help with Oli Frey and Zone, who's just been who's just been up there every single race with AV locking down top spots. So you could see a comeback coming in for WZ. Could we see could we see a potential comeback? They need they need a much better GP two than GP one. I'll say that for a fact if they want to come back in this match. Yeah, I need a little bit of refresh on what tracks he played because I can't remember if yours even or if Camelot pulled a shock that GP because I, I'm assuming the RBC shock was your, uh, a ball in end of call just to respawn dodge 
I don't. The Mario Circuit Shock. Was that Wally Wogs? I can't. No, it wasn't. It was Avail. Shock in the oh, boxes. Yeah, AV Shock. MC3 was probably held, and then I don't remember. GV. I don't think there's a shock. There was no shock on GV, no. So it was shockless. So yeah, I don't think Camelot's gotten any shocks so far. So minus 20 against Avail with zero shocks and not having Hawk. That's not a bad GP when you put it like that. By no means is it And it's bad. even less now with the bagger points being corrected. Only 16. Yeah. Like I said, they needed that MC race. It may it may not be the prettiest of the, the prettiest of track picks and it may be unorthodox, but they needed it and it certainly got them back in this war instead of A V just completely breaking away. Yeah, for sure. Um while we wait for Hawk to join, there's there's lots of things to talk about because this season We've seen something that doesn't happen a lot, which is players or like teams playing early before the weekend. We haven't even got to the weekend. We've seen so much action in the league. Um, anything to note? Any big matches you want to talk about? Uh, I mean, the only big matches I can think about that have been played has been AV versus LZ that was played just before this match. I mean, I know AU versus LE haven't, but like, I mean, people didn't care about high <laughs> High div more than low divs. Like, really, only high div matches been AV versus LZ. I don't know. Have there been any other matches that have been played? Yeah. I don't want to talk about the other D2 match. Well, LV, LV played both their matches in D2, if we want to talk about D2. I don't remember. I think they lost to, to MT, which most people think is the best team or the second best team in the division. They lost to LV or MT beat LV by six, but there's a minus... T Minus 10 penalty on LV, so they won without oh, the penalty. Yeah. But... I do remember that match. Yeah, that was very close. And the the minus 10 that Burke acquired for LV is heartbreaking because they would have won the match otherwise. Yeah, against... and this. they only got two points out of that. So they lost by six, and they only got two points. That's a heartbreaker. But they, yeah. they ran it back, and they got eight points against AC. I think a result that they... I can't say they needed, but against what people think is the worst team in the division. Eight points, not bad. You'll take 10 points after week one. Not bad at all. Yeah, they definitely redeem, redeemed themselves and they needed that redemption. Like, you know, Burke felt bad about that pen and, and he seemed to, re redeem, to, to redeem himself. They got redemption in a big way. Burke, I will say, notably has been on the come up a lot, like recently in the last year. I remember when he first started out on like GTFO banging wise and now he's ascended all the way up into D2. Yeah, Burke's an interesting name, someone to look out for. It's interesting, I don't know, do people consider Burke or Zack a better bagger? Because if you consider Burke to be a better bagger than Zack, then not only did they add Goober and Sky to this team, they added a better bagger, I guess you could say, depending on who you prefer. Right, right. So it's all about, yeah, preference pretty much. So you say they improved tremendously. And we're on... On to uh, DDR here, TK in first, Oliver in second. Probably the players you expected to be in top two. Hoping to see a lot of TK versus Oliver battles. Me too. So Me let's too. Let's see what Oliver can do. I think Oliver is not known, or people don't know him to make like the crazy plays that maybe some of the other players on this team do, but he's just known for his consistent, great driving. And it's probably one of the best in the division. Definitely. He's definitely known for his running, not necessarily playmaking abilities, but maybe Ballin or player like Knight per, per se would nice make. Nice pow, and nice hop dodge too. That was really good. So now he's got Shroomin first, and he's going to be looking just spec, to hold this. Spec through blue on the other POV. Oliver should dodge it if he's on the ground. But oh, he's going to be in midair. He oh, does. Oh, I still, still dodge it. Good, good nice. job there. Great I think dodge. if he tricked... He might not have dodged the blue, but I think he knew the blue was coming. His team has called it out, so good job yeah. there for Ollie for a really huge play in this race because the hop dodge, if he didn't hop dodge, he wouldn't he would have got blue, so that's huge right. play there. I mean that's a moment I mean I mean that changes the whole race. Like you're talking about it's now Ollie Frey get Ollie Frey is gonna run it up, barring shock maybe, and he's probably gonna take home first dodge a little slip up, but Gets back on. Shouldn't so matter. We can switch the spec in 2-3 here and see if anything's going on. It looks pretty safe for both of our streamers, but there's a red going for him. Maybe a last second shock round to Ollie Frey. 
Can Not we gonna connect. Nope. Last second AV shock probably. No, it yeah. looks like a WZ Maybe shock. Maybe WZ? Yeah, I think it might have been WZ shock from the looks of things. I don't really know. I don't think anyone dodged that shock. Maybe it TS ballin' and cut, maybe? I think that was the play, yeah, TSing ballin' and cut, but... I don't know, I, it doesn't make sense, because we saw TK throw a red at Olifrey. They could've just called a shock red if they had it. Maybe they yeah. just didn't want to risk any dodgers in the back, I'm not sure. It's a pretty nothing shock. Nothing really happened, just... I think Zoan and Ballin might have swapped spots, that's it. It's kind of been the whole story of this war has been like nothing shocks. Like shocks really haven't moved the needle for either teams. This war kind of seems like. Yeah, really. It's been just the the front the frontal presence. We've seen Zoan run up a lot of tracks so far. Olifrey, Olifrey just made the play of the game. Probably the he probably called that pal. He dodged, he hop dodged the pal. Had a Sherman second and it dodged the blue mid air. So really nice play from Olifrey. And we'll see if they can keep it up. And we didn't see a lot of Hawk. It was literally, you didn't have any perspective on Hawk that race because our streamers were in the front for most of it. So the Hawk difference hasn't shown up quite yet, but we'll give him time. Yeah, give it a couple races. You'll probably see the Hawk difference come into play as he kind of shakes off the rust. I really don't know how much he's been playing before this match, but if he does have a little bit of rust, I think he'll shake it off in a couple of races and you'll see Hawk up there in the front with... Only Frey and the crew. Koopa Cape, and then we see the lone Mushroom Gorge from Hawk, the, so... The end of Picker. Will it pick him? Will it pick him? Ooh. Nope. Okay. Koopa Cape it is. It. This is probably like the only track in a game where you'll see both teams pick it. Maybe BC3 is another one where both teams pick it at the same time. Because it's just so balanced, it, it works when you have like these weird spots like we see here in one four six and two three five seven stuff like that that's right yeah it, 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 it really is neutral base for like the top spots kind of interchange kind of an interchangeable track like you said with bc3 normally it is like two, a good two four track pick is what kind of like when you're starting out the war in two four it, it'll get picked a lot yeah it looks like hawk was the one to jackpot looks like he might have got triple shrooms or a golden he's gonna be in first there's there's what we expected from Hawk. Let's see what he can do in the front. No Shroomba takers lap one, which is something you don't see. It's like, I think mathematically, second has a 60% chance to get an item to take Shroomba. Whether that be green, red, triple Shrooms, I mean, triple greens or a single Shroom. Nice Fib oh, from that Hawk. Was lands on the, lands right on the Fib. No way to avoid that. What? Oh no, holy frame. <laughs> no. I was oh, looking at spec there. Just oh what? No, the he heck? Oh, he's his triple stream saved his butt right from there. From play, from play of the game to uh, that. Something uh, little, something you'd yeah. like to forget for sure. <laughs> we could switch the spec here. Yes, we'll see if Olifrey catches up. Was that a blue? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Blue. I think he dodged. Was... It. No, he gets just he gets blue there. Oh. You can actually dodge blue there. I I just don't think he got there in time to dodge blue going yeah. down the tunnel. Irik with the triple red is going to take out ball and spec in first. Olifrey has caught up. Ground star as well. Yeah, Just going to hold the screen for Shroomba, I assume. Doesn't look, look like Shock's in play either. Yeah, I'm going to assume Shock's not in play so we wouldn't see a TS here on spec or anything. But so just keep it on spec until he makes the Shroomba, we hope. And then yeah. we can switch to Olifrey here. He has triple greens and the shrimp was not there for him to take so he's gonna have to keep these unoptimal triple greens and six it looks like a really good race for wally Wogs, but zoan's trying to make a difference here i think ballin and hawk are bottom two but irik tk in this mid pack all he does have power it'll be interesting to see what he does with this could this power effect affect the spots of here he might try t palm in the as people go for cut potentially or we'll get him after boxes here pow i think knight got a box out of that pow and he it did. doesn't he matter he throws a red at him it's not gonna matter not gonna matter oh, oh he made it does oh but shot comes in to cancel cancel the red right av shock i would assume yeah but that just didn't need to happen if he doesn't throw that red he has two reds to block that single red 
Exactly. And then he would have got fourth, and instead, I think they might have barely lost that race. Yeah, a couple of plays from Oleg Frey, he'd like to forget. Like, you don't see him make those types of mistakes. On Koopa uh, Cape as well. This is his track. I know, that's his world record track. One that he always does really well in. Two, three, five, seven, nine. It's, I think it's still winning, but it's a four-point swing there. And in a yep. match like this, a four-point swing could mean a lot. So It could, mean, it could be the difference. You, you it, never it know. It literally could, yeah. <laughs> It, it was a very strange race from Ollie Frey, but I mean, he caught up. His race could have been over if he fell off after hitting that fib, if he didn't have another shroom. The race could have been over for him. Oh, yeah. If he doesn't have those triple shrooms there, he gets eight. No question about that. One one thing that was interesting at the very end, I think you saw it too. Camelot was sitting in front of the cut. Very strange. Like... He could, I'm assuming he had shrooms, because there's no way he wouldn't have dropped a star if he had a star there. It was super weird. He's just sitting right in front of the cut. Maybe yeah, he had that, Bill. I, I don't know. It was it was a weird play. Very odd. I've never seen that from baggers on, on a KC before, sitting in front of the cut. Like you said, it might have been to drop shrooms. I really don't know what another reason it, it could be for, uh, for just sitting in front of the cut there like that. Yeah, because dropping a star for Irik could have got Ollie for a 6th place, because if Irik got a star off on him, it would have been a worse race and a winning race for Wally Walks. Instead, I think they barely lose it. Coconut yeah. Mall here. I don't know which team picked this. I'm assuming a team starting in first, which is going to be Spec and Wally Walks. See sure. why they picked this. Uh, maybe Spec's a, a god at this track. He might. Who knows? He could have like a 155 on this track for all we oh, know. I mean... That's not a good start, but yeah, still gonna nope. All the shroomers are here. Hawk, Hawk getting some really nice first set items, getting into first early in the race, taking blues. It's exactly what we expected from this substitution, and we just, like we're seeing Volleyball just having more success in the front. But as I say that, TK gets taken out. <laughs> Hawk still gonna be in first, running it up here. This is what we. This is what we expected to see from Hawk. This is what you want to see from Hawk. Like, you, if not one of, if not your best player up here, holding down the fort with AV right on his tail right now in two three. But Spec does have a mega in fourth, so maybe he's hoping. Oh, weird oh. play there. I guess I maybe the banister is blocked. I, I didn't actually catch I it. Didn't, but. I didn't see if it was blocked. It didn't look blocked to me, but maybe he's just hoping Camelot will get the shock. Maybe. And it's one of these tracks where you can't guarantee a shock. So Spec holding right. this mega, like, like if they get shock, it's good. But he might just hold this for way too long, and then it becomes worthless. And then you just yeah. think back at why didn't I chain that mega? And exactly. Speaking exactly. of uh, needing a mega, ooh, nice play there. Great That's awareness. Exactly. That's exactly what we. I don't think a player in like D7 is gonna make that play, but Ollie Frey, Definitely so not. much experience really nice turn into the bagger there someone gets killed by the banister it might have been blocked again i think it was ball and gets taken out because it's only knight but knight looks like he's in first so he overtakes hawk i don't know what happened to hawk did you build in play as well i think knight took yeah. cut the full cut lap two and got into first oh okay that Spec also sense, chained yeah. his mega for triple shroom so it's gonna be two three four it's not the end of the world but a snipe here hawk's probably gonna go for it if he has a chance, a bomb hits no one. That red yeah. doesn't go for spec, and that's huge. That might actually win them the race. That is going to win them the race. Two, it three, does. Four for wow. So on, if he watches that one back, he's not going to be happy with what just happened there. He's going to be kicking himself for not making that red onto spec. Cause that yeah, he definitely could have slowed player. down more to, yep. to confirm the hit on spec. But 2 3 4 for Wally Logs, we. I don't know what the GP score is. I think Wallywogs are down 16 going to this GP. They're now down 18, I think. So with that race win, I think they're up this GP by a little bit. Okay. So, okay, yeah. So, so they're winning the GP just a little bit by AV right now, you say? Yeah, I think okay. they're up. A penalty has been submitted, but that's from a different match. Okay. I was, I was expecting a... I think Ballin said he had a troll pen, but they I haven't think... sent it. Oh, he said never mind to the troll. Yeah, he, he scratched it off and said never mind. There's no, there's gonna be no troll pen for at least right now. He said never mind. 
Alright, so AV are up 13, which means Wallywogs are up 3 this GP. This will be a huge, if they can, if WZ can close this out and win this GP, that'll be huge for them. It can be, it can be massive. Yeah, then even though Avail are winning, it's 2-2 two -two on the scoreboard. And, I mean, if the match stays close like this, we're gonna have a really interesting GP3. And 100%. one thing to note for uh, Wallywogs, I think Wallywogs are gonna chain this war with another war against Lightspeed in an hour or so. So again, we were talking about how Avail lost the first match of a back-to-back -back that might be affecting their mental right now. And if Wallywogs lose, it's gonna be the same thing for them. So maybe extra motivation other than this being their first match of the season. And yeah, I mean, we're going to Peach Gardens here. Wally Locks with a three point lead to protect to win the GP. Definitely. It's 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 gonna be this is gonna be a huge race for WZ. Either way. Like they need shock on this track, because this track is very shock reliant. Whoever gets shock typically wins this race. You don't see it all the time. But if Camelot can get shock on this race, it's probably gonna be very good for WZ. Yeah, well, Shock, Shock's gonna win this GP for whatever team gets it. So that's my prediction because that's just what happens, really, on this that's, track. That's a fair Omega prediction. Mega for Spec. Yeah. Gonna be a really good item. Interesting to see if he. Ch I think he has to chain it, but I think he might have got killed. I don't see him anywhere. Zoan in first. We haven't seen that in a while. Zoan got a really nice item first set. And oh, a double backspam from Oli Frey. It wasn't even like the best backspam in the world, but it was good enough to get Iric and Hawk. We can switch to Spec here. He's probably gonna chain this Mega. I think he has to chain this Mega. He does, yeah. Gets a oh, Shroom, that's a big pull. That is maybe the best pull you could have gotten right there. Oh, but he, he uses it oh. because he had a chance to hit Knight. It's not a bad idea. And he still has chances for another one. I like it. I, li I like the aggressiveness from Spec there. I, I applaud that. Yeah, top two, I think guarantees a win for or a tie GP at least for Avail. I think you can yeah. if you get top two you can't lose the race but I don't know if there's a situation where you can get plus one. But we'll see. Oli Ferry is in fourth though so it, it's yeah. top two four and that would absolutely win the GP. He oh. can't avoid that red. Uh, yeah that red was unavoidable. He tried to power red knight but that didn't work out. And I think Camelot has shocked though just based on the way he's playing it. Spec is up here. I, I'm pretty sure Camel has it. He went around the hedges, and I think yours chased him in a star and did not hit him. So if Camel has shock, that's. I'm not sure where else WZ is at if they have any dodges, but we could see a Ollie shock. Free. We could switch to Ollie Free. He's a TC in fourth. This might be a must pass to save the GP for them. He does he pass it. I think there has Ooh. to be a shock here. There has to be. Has they to have be. it have to use it right here they have to if there's no shock i think this is going to be a win gp for a veil it's one three if you can Still survive no. in fourth it will absolutely confirm it bomb, bomb comes not in. enough okay. that's a held a... blue from ballin from av again yeah man it's a heartbreaker yeah. you had you you just couldn't pull shock we see yeah i just saw camelot use the shock at the end of the race but i mean Wow, they, they just had no use for it, or they just didn't get it. Camelot, I'm pretty confident Camelot had shock because he went around. He went around the little chain chomp section at the beginning there. There's no reason for you to go around if you don't have shock. I guess they couldn't yeah. find a use for it. I mean, they. I was thinking they might have called themselves into boxes right there. I mean, that, that they had to They needed to if you. they had it, yeah. They needed to do something. Like, when you're. When you're down in the jeep when you have to win this gp like you have to do something with the shock if you have shotgun guardians you can't just hold it you have to at least find some some way somehow you have to use the shock even if it's not in like the spot you want to you have to gotta go for something yeah and we can take a quick look at the scores here avail are up 22 zoan is on 95 points so he's already guaranteed to break 100 this war something i don't think in a room with Hawk, Spec, TK, Olifrey, and even Ballin, not a not a likely MVP, but he's doing his job. Spec, on the other hand, not not bad. 80 points after two GPs, that's really good. And Olifrey was 72, and TK was 69. So, um, I mean, other than Zoan, I think it's expected. But Zoan, wow, 
what a what a performance, especially on stream in front of 140 people. He's, he's very nicely done for himself. He's trying to say, but put some respect on my name. Like I can I can score big points just like the former D1 players can as well. Yeah, and and one thing I think Zon is streaming this match, but we opted for Ali for spec POVs. Maybe that's playing a part. Not only did he not get the nod to get the the 140 people watching him um yeah. he doesn't have the pressure of people watching him that is true so, that's very true stream nerves are a real thing and it's definitely without, real yeah without 100 people watching him my yeah like you said it takes a it's like okay i can relax i can focus on doing me rather than trying to make the big plays to impress all the viewers yeah and when you saw that misplay from ollie freight he's probably thinking about the stream too like everyone just saw me do whatever the heck i just did but you know, you know it, yeah, 100%. Yeah, he's starting in first here. And I don't know, Spec drafted there, and there he goes. Oh, he's off. He is off. Hawk gonna... again, just getting up there. Another, I, he's starting in bottom spots and getting really good for set items, and he's getting up there. Spec here to support him. They're gonna start double backing. Zoan is just invincible at the moment. Nobody can hit him. Spec hits someone. I'm not sure who he hit. He missed. He missed third place though with the green, much to his dismay. And oh, he's don't in third. He's not gonna go for spec. He's gonna go That's all odd. the way to first. Odd he display. passes it. Oh, he, yeah, he passed. Oh. What a play from Zoan. I did not think he's gonna pass that. And the oh, fib on him. What a fib. And the red. <laughs> he Zoan is oh, on right fire. There. That's a that could be a match winning he, play. He is popping off right now. It's it is ridiculous. I mean, he had the advantage there because I'd always give the advantage to play with the TC in that scenario. But especially on Sherbyland when there's less traction, like, or more traction. I, I don't know, actually. But yeah, it's just harder to avoid TC, what I'm trying to say. And yeah, yeah. look at the break he has now with Knight in top two. And this is top three for AV. I mean, top WZ, four, actually. If Bones is outplaying WZ, plain and simple right now, they're... They have earned this top three, this breakaway right now. And then top four, top three, yeah. should, top four, I should say, my bad. And Yours could have shock. He's winning the bag battle right now. Blue's coming. Blue's coming. I don't think it's going to do anything. They might. You just got to make sure you don't combo the blue with the pal. I don't think Olive is even going to use this. Maybe a target pal on TK is the only play, and it would be a good play. But Bowen. Oh, backed. Ooh. That Bowen back with the same. There's a shock. They needed it. Camelot finds the shock and a blue chain. I think is that Zoan all the way gone first? I think it is. So that blue. It is. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Oh, He's never right here. mind. So Spec. My bad. That was one of the baggers. Yeah, Spec is gonna get the first ball and he might have just given Ballin a draft. He's not looking back. I guess Ballin disappeared. I think that's top three for Wallywogs. That what what a turnaround. AV went from top four to really quickly just bottom everything after that shock. A huge and shock and a great chain. Blue is the best chain because Spec won the race. He didn't need Shrooms to chain. He got the blue. Triple Reds would have done the same thing, but blue is a huge pull there. And Camelot come in clutch here. I I saw him in ninth, but he he ended up clutching the race. Cam, the team MVP for that race. Like he could not have gotten shock at a better time. Yeah, top three or wait no, top two four for WZ. So, yeah. yeah, he turns it around for them. Like, Blue, dare I say, was that the best item that Spec could have chained there, do you think? Um, no, I think Triple Reds would have been better, but it was not a bad item at all. It was definitely better than Triple Shrooms, where he could not have hit anyone. Fair point, fair play. Fair play. Really good for WZ. This could be a match, match-altering race, 100%. They're back in it. They're only down by 9 nine now so they are right back in it after that thanks to cam yeah i was saying that someone could have made a match winning play and instead camel with a maybe a match winning shock just mm -hmm. the power of shock on oh yeah that track unbelievable really is it really is unbelievable it's that's how that's how quickly the tides and the tables can turn just like that yeah and again i mean this is exactly what you'd want to see in front of for a cast or 130 people watching this match you've got yourself a really good match with some of the veteran clans of this game 
We'll see. Well, Avail, I don't think I've ever been losing in this match. So maybe that's just something to think about from their perspective. They've been leading the entire way through. And if they choke it at the end, that will really hurt. That's going to weigh on in, weigh in on them 100%. If they, if they end up losing this and choking after leading the whole match, you know that's going to have a, a huge, a huge effect on them mentally. Maybe for the whole season, if they don't hold on, uh, if they lose it late here, like, and if you're WZ, you have all the momentum, all the momentum in the world right now, and you're you're on cloud nine right now, hoping to build off that race as you've gotten yourself right back in in it. Yeah. But one thing here, Ballin and Avail get their RMC track pick. I don't see any other team picking it, but there's a huge track pick because, I mean, they're in horrible spots to get it. And you can see Ballin getting a chance to run, which he would not have had on the Wallywogs track pick. So, a big track pick, but a big snipe. Yeah, and we see Olifrey in first right now with a little breakaway. We'll see if he holds on to that. Uh, Camelite is in 10th, but no one has shock right now. He's going to be getting the next box in 10, so WZ could pull it. And oh my, my thing was delayed. I was I was commenting from a lap behind. We're seeing lap 3 action now. I just I just zoned out for a bit, I guess, but I don't know what the spots are. You have to fill me in here. AV is most of the top spots. So blue coming in. Olifrey is going to be getting blued potentially before the line, so this yeah there he goes he's getting blued so no AV cancel here so AV does not have shock and there's oh uh, top two I think they still got top two they still got top two yeah Oli Frey and Knight got got a first and second respectively I believe so it really didn't matter at the end of the day I thought WZ was gonna end up taking them it was gonna end up taking over the top spots but no AV still gets top two after that Oli Frey's breakaway was just too big and since Cam did not pull shock uh Eight, like WZ just really didn't they did not have a chance yeah I, I was watching the Mario Kart board stream so I was like Whoa, wait what's going on here this is <laughs> I swear I've seen this before but yeah top three Boy, what top. a what a turnaround the track pick of of the century here because that could have ended the war for a veil if they got if they didn't get that track pick so they're up 30 now that's huge that that might seal the deal might be the final nail in the coffin indeed. With only two races left, they are down by 30 points, WZ. And when not getting your track pick after getting a after getting a top two four, that really hurts. You wanted that track pick there. You had all the momentum. And with AV getting their track pick, it allowed them kind of back into the war. And now they've just widened the lead once again. And like we said, could be the final nail in the coffin. For this war a desperation pick again it's looking like we've played it it's not every day you see all three mario circuits get picked i know right it rarely ever happens if and now mumu medals could be up next yeah wz's got to go for the jugular right here they got to put all their eggs in, in the basket and av gets the track, the track picks Ooh. these are two huge track picks if they went Wallywog's way, we could be seeing a plus 30 lead for Wallywog's instead of a Veil. So you gotta feel for them, but that's just how the game works. One thing I've said in previous streams is BCW doesn't always work in top 3. Maybe we can switch the spec. Hopefully you can prove me right here. Because sometimes, sometimes the double backs don't work, but it worked good enough. It's top 3 break because someone pulled a bomb. Oh, I think Zoan yeah. got a third place bomb. That worked out for AV. Nice, very, very nicely right there. I might have just jinxed them there because every time I've said that, the team in top three keeps top three, so maybe old, I should stop saying that. Good old jinx. Good old jinx. If you're, if you're a little superstitious, maybe we really don't know. It's just how MK we go sometimes. We haven't spoken a lot about Eric mainly because he hasn't been in the front. This is his chance to maybe win the war for his team just keep your spot and as i say that he passed Wait, the tc to zone gets the tc off yeah right there to zone so he's doing everything he can right now to for w no he passes it back oh. no he oh, passed it oh Again. that's that might save the war for them yeah we see they need to lose the... ahead of spec right now oh my god another tc that is heartbreaking with triple shrooms as well 
You hate to see it. That really I did. It. I just said 10 seconds before that might have saved the war, and right then and there could be the final in nail in the coffin, as you were saying. Oh, wait. Oh, he just switched. Okay, he just switched like this yeah. <laughs> very quickly. That caught me off if guard you see Zoan, you better switch paths with how he's playing. That's what I'm saying. You need to stay out, stay out of yeah, this way. Get out of the way. But you're gonna get Zoan, killed. Zoan's doing everything he can to win this war. I, I think he's might he might have done enough. We can't see. We can switch to Ollie Frey in the front. This top two, if this top two stays, it will make it so Wallbugs will have to all run the last race. And another TC! Irik, wow. that's gonna be it. That has to be it that for him. To. Yeah, that has to that be the final. might be it for the war that's as well. Exactly. I think that's GG's right there, barring a miracle right here. I don't know who has Shock, but it could, that, that that just could be GG's right there. Yeah, the fact that Shock hasn't been used makes me want to believe no one has it or yours has it. And if that's the still case, top, still is it gonna... GG. Now you just gotta hope that you can... If you're Wallywalks, you can just go for 3 four, 5 so you have a chance to win the war with the all run. Spec pulling blue at the very end, that's just... That's, That's just disrespectful bad. from the game there. So, Ballin gets seven, Zone gets, what was it, fourth or fifth there? So, top two, uh, four or five for AV. Yeah, that might, I think that's GG's. I, I think, I don't think Ball was Ballin in four or five, or was that Irik? I, okay, I think, I, I think it was Irik actually who was in, who was in four or five, because I saw Ballin, he crossed the line in like seven, so. Um, Spec quickly spamming yeah. through the results, understandably. He doesn't want to see that result. He's upset, yeah. It's you can plus 43 it on the table bot, but the bagging points could be incorrect. But even so, it's looking like Wallywogs are going to go down in this throwback match. Wallywogs versus Avail match. I don't think any of us were expecting to ever see. Me, I, I sure wasn't expecting to see this. I didn't think WZ was going to sign up, not going to lie, after after the Casparinos uh, yeah. kind, of, kind of banked, like, at the last minute. I, I didn't think they were going to sign up. Like, after after they disbanded after MKPS, like, this is an MKPS match all over again right here. I didn't think we'd see it again in GSC, but here we are. Yeah, it's a 43-point deficit. It should be mathematically impossible, but we don't know if the bagger points are correct. But even if they are incorrect, it's not enough. They're not wrong to the point where they can bag this next race. Wallywogs, right. they'll have to all run. We'll yeah. see. No it is Moomoo Meadows. Uh, there's a chance, I guess. I mean, <laughs> they got knows? their track pay. That's all. They're... <laughs> At this point, really, that's all you can. And that's also, even if you don't go for the win, you can go for the GP win. Because that is I think they're true. not, they're, I think they can bag and still win this GP, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they, they were down 22 going to the GP, they're down 21 this GP, so. Yeah, Kamal is going back, let's see. Again, two points could be the difference between making playoffs and not making playoffs. So, that's why we love the Tombs format. Even races like this where it shouldn't matter still have the same intensity as the rest of the match so spec keeping first is bigger than you think it, re it really is like 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 you said you need even if you're out of the war you have to go for the points like it's just amazing like the legacy that is left on us like the point the points format system is just revolutionized the way that comp mk we in the league's format is is played like it gives teams more incentive to try which i really love to see yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself, but if we switch to Oliver's POV, he's in a TC battle. If he loses this one, Wallywogs have a chance. Spec gets blued on the other perspective. Holy Knight is in first. That would seal the war. Or the GP. If there's no blue and no shock, it, yeah, that's going to seal it for AV. They're, and oh, there's Ballin. It is an AV shock right there, and that's going to secure the GP and the war for AV, it looks like gonna be Top a clean two. sweep unless we see a Hail Mary pop. I don't even think it's possible. Yeah, Pawn and Knight gonna finish top it's two. Not, it's not possible. Yeah, it is over. Top two for AV. There's the blue, but it's too late. It is, it is too, too late. late. Moo Moo Meadows, they got... I mean, they probably got the least important track pick out of the last three. 
and you can see the damage that it's left on them. This is a close match up until that top three on GCN Mario Circuit, and that again, it's one of those what ifs. Like, if we get our track pick, we have a, a like more than a chance to win this war. Instead, we're losing this war by like 40 points, 50 points. It's like it's ridiculous, but that's just how the game goes sometimes. Knight. In his debut, War 4 Avail, as far as I know, a really nice GP to end it off. It's a triple, it's five, it's a quintuple hundred war. Something you wow. rarely see. I, Zoan I don't think 125, I've Spec I don't think... 115, Olifrey 111, Knight 104, and then TK 101. Hawk did not have. The impact we wanted him to have only 38 points in the two the two GPs he played and Yoris Yoris had a really underrated match as well he pulled a lot of shocks sealing the deal with that Moo Moo Meadow shock maybe that maybe I mean we know Camelot isn't a main a, a bagger main and we're seeing why we're seeing a difference here and Avail through their their European players have uh, secured a 10-0 to start the season. Very strong. You could not have asked for a better result. A close war for the viewers. And uh, some really good plays throughout. So, I mean, table is on screen here to see the quintuple, the quintuple hundreds for yourself. Always requires players like Bon and Irek to have not so good matches in That's terms right. of uh, scoring. And but... Like and yeah, or no, Bowen, my bad. Unfortunately, he yeah, had a war he'd like to forget. But it doesn't matter when your team gets the win in the end of the day. It really doesn't matter what you score as long as you get the win. Yeah, and I think Council predicted this Wallywalks team to not do so hot, even if they got players like Spec, Hawk, and TK every week. And we might be seeing that. But on the other hand, we could just see a team in a veil that might be top of D2. We'll... We'll see. It's a really good start. WZ again, an 010, probably chaining wars in 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes against Lightspeed. Both teams who have gone, who have gotten destroyed in their first match, or not not destroyed, but have picked up zero points in their first match. So, I mean, we'll see how if they decide to play that match, how it affects them. This 010 that could have easily been a win for them. So. It, it's tough, but it's only match one of week one. So much time to turn around. I think Zoan played a really, really, really important part in this win. We didn't get to see his POV, but it's an unbelievable score from Zoan. A performance that he'll probably not forget. In, I mean, he's had so many good performances, but we won't we won't get into his pre weem shenanigans, but. A really good score, a really good match for them. Any f closing thoughts, Vinny? Uh, yeah, like, kind of to reiterate what you said, Zone absolutely popped up. Like, he came to play in this match. He, 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 he was the anchor. He was the final presence that AV that AV needed. And for WZ, and this was unfortunate that Hawk couldn't play GP one. And when he what did come in, he didn't get the the desired effect. And Camelot. Maybe got a little bit unlucky in the back middle. I really don't know. I didn't really keep an eye, but unfortunately didn't get many shots. It hurt his team some races, but to be fair, AV just ran most of the races. Like, it was smooth sailing. And go back to my comments that I said before the match, that the L the loss to LZ might have affected uh, AV. It really seemed like it didn't. Sure yeah, seemed like for it didn't sure. to me. Like, they were just coasting. And for WZ, they're probably going to walk away from this match and think what they could have done better. I think they probably could have just be up at the front more, in my opinion, contest the front spots more. That's really all I got to say. Yeah, so this new looking AV team, the Germans have left the clan, the French have invaded, and they've <laughs> made a huge difference in this team. So on, Knight should be proud of themselves. And obviously, Ollie Frey, Ballin. Ballin might be a little salty, but his team got it done. He held a lot of blues, it seems like. He called some shocks as he always does he he leaves his team better than anyone else can so even though he scores 49 his points are probably worth double that if not triple so 
I think that's gonna be it from us on behalf of Mario Kart Board. It's been me and Vinny with uh, a huge shout out to our stream host as well. Please, uh, gotta thank the stream host because it's not possible without them. But yeah, that's it. Maybe another match coming up in 40 minutes. Not casted, but if you want more Wallywogs to action, they might be playing very soon. And yeah, that's gonna be it from us. We'll see you in a bit. Have a good have a good night guys.